welcome everyone to a uh, to a very special edition of uh, of the show today. I'm Felix Levine, and to my right, Johnny A. Light. Before we get into it, we also, uh, of course, want to make sure that we shout out Dr. Kramer at CannabisExamNY.com. Medical marijuana is now legal in New York State, which means you can now go to www.CannabisExamNY.com today to start the process on getting your New York medical marijuana card. Again, CannabisExamNY.com today, and 100% refund if you don't qualify. We'll put the link in the description of this video, so go check that out. And also, another reminder to subscribe to the, to the show right now if you haven't done so, and the Patreon. You'll be able to ask John uh, personalized questions. All content goes there early. And of course, today, um, we're going to talk about the and address the situation with, with Gene. Um, this is the newspaper article uh, for those who haven't seen it. Obviously, John and I have been getting messages right and left about it, so obviously we're going to address it. Um, I think we have just about as many details as anybody else does. Uh, we don't really have that much information on the situation. As for the the show, um, you know, from here on out, I, it'll be John and I. Uh, again, we haven't come up with a, a new title for the show or any of that, but um, all content for the Johnny and Gene show will stay posted. Um, but the show obviously have a different feel. I think on a personal level for myself, um, you know, when when I got the call from, from our beloved manager, uh, surprised i guess not shocked in the sense that um you know it's a it's a tough situation you don't know i mean gene is a, is a special character um you know i mean he's been very open on on an episode i think one of our favorites with the, the psychologist um michael nasif uh, he was very open about you know being bipolar having add adhd for in my opinion i think it's a you know a, a system that uh doesn't help people like that um i know he never really had the therapy was never on the medications needed so you know, for me, I guess my initial feeling was um, just quite sadness, really. And I'm not a, a big religious person, but in a lot of ways, you kind of just pray for him as, as a person that, uh, you know, he's going to be OK and whatever, however it, it turns out. Again, we don't have any any more information than you guys do. But, um, you know, in terms of the show, there's a lot of unknowns, I guess. Uh, this is all <laughs> relatively new news to us. Um, but that's just kind of, you know, how I how I feel. I mean, you know, obviously for his family, it must be hard. So. Uh, prayers out to the family and uh, you know again they're still trying to figure out the situation as well so that's really all I have I'll let you hand it over and you know s tell the world what, what you think so for the people that are uh, sending messages in support of the show and for Gene himself and his family you know obviously we appreciate it I can't write everybody back everybody's asking me questions but what I can do is uh, tell you that on this show we've had uh, several attorneys we had therapists we had individuals, we had uh, pastors, and uh, the biggest thing this show was meant to do is to help people. So uh, people that uh, have drug problems or alcohol problems or uh, uh, temper problems, we all know that people slip, and we can all relate to that. And no one's perfect. Uh, people make mistakes, and people do slip. They have that drink when they shouldn't, and uh, they start at the bottom of the hill again. Now, I don't know the details, uh, newspapers, magazines, news reports uh, aren't accurate. No, none of us know what's going on yet. Uh, I guess in time we'll, we'll be able to tell what's going on. So as far as uh, prejudging uh, one way or another, I hope everybody understands that struggles in life, that sometimes there's struggles in life. Uh, Gene's been doing the right thing for the things that he does do that I know of. He got involved with me in several programs that I do, helping kids, men empowering men. I uh, talked to individuals when I asked them from all these organizations, second chance programs, uh, high schools I've done like Newark High School, uh, high schools out of the country, uh, colleges I've done lectures at. So he's involved in the background, a lot of the stuff with me, and uh, he's been doing this with me for about eight months. Uh, so I, I'm not sure why uh, some of this has come up, did he have permission or not. Uh, I'm not involved with his legal case, and uh, hopefully uh, I would think he does have permission because he's been involved, and we've hit magazines, blogs for the last year, and millions of people have reached out and, and watched our show. So uh, I'm going to keep this on a positive note. Uh, you know, uh, I hope everything is well with his family. Everything's going to work out for him. And again, uh, thank you for the support, everybody. And sometimes uh, life's a struggle, and that's what this show is about, uh, for the good or the bad. And hopefully this is for the good. And uh, he comes back and everything works out for him and his family. Thank you. Perfect. So uh, 
Yeah, I think that's really that sums it all up. And, uh, you know, of course, we'll, we'll keep putting out content, uh, slightly different format, obviously, but uh, we have a lot of really great guests and, and the show, um, you know, albeit in a different in a different way uh, is still still up and running. So thank you for the support. Thanks, everybody.